Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from IncredibleTutorials.com. Today I'm starting my first lesson on a series of Joomla tutorials that I plan to do. Now, if you're unfamiliar with, with the Joomla or website building, Joomla basically allows you to create a website. And it's a free software, and it's really easy to use, but it's also quite powerful as well. And the only thing you really need to get started is a web server. Now, web server or web space, I should say, it does cost money most of the time, depending on where you're getting it from. So if you don't have um, web space right now to get started, you can check out the URL I have on my video here. That's the service I use. It's called one in one and I find it to be quite reliable. However, if you know of other web space that you would like to try out, by all means, this should work with that as well. So anyway, let's get started. First, we need to create a database in order to install Joomla onto it. Now, I am currently on my one-in-one -on -one control panel, and if you're using a different service, this will probably look different. However, the steps should remain similar. So when I'm on my control panel, I'm going to go ahead and click the MySQL Administration button located right here. And if yours doesn't look quite like that, look for something that says something about database or MySQL database. Okay, now we are on the database list. And you'll see I have a bunch of other databases here created already for other websites. But what we want to look at here is a button that says new database. So let's go ahead and click that. And then we will be brought to another screen here. Now, we are going to set up a new database. So for the first line, we just want a description, and this is going to be quite easy. Just you know, label it something that you will, you can look back upon later on in case if you make more websites, so you can kind of organize it. So in this case, I'm going to name my database Joomla Tutorial because that's what this website is is. It's for my tutorial. Now we want it on 5.0, and for the password, of course put the password as something that you will remember so that you can come back to this later on and know what you're doing. <laughs> so, okay, we'll go ahead and hit set up and the database will set up. Now this does take a few minutes to set up the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the camera for now and once it's set up, I will be right back. Okay, as you can see, my new database is ready to go. So the next step is to download Joomla. And as I said, it's free and it's really easy to get. We're just gonna go ahead and make a new tab on our browser. And I'm going to go ahead on the Google search bar and just type in Joomla, just like that. And then hit enter. And you will see that we have the first listing here, joomla.org, and that's where we wanna go. So just go ahead and click that. Okay, and the site is loaded. And now we are gonna go ahead and just click this image right here, download Joomla. And then we're going to click the first one right here, the full package. And just go ahead and click that. And just go ahead and save it and it will download. And it's pretty small, so it, should, um, take, it shouldn't take you very long to download. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my Finder or your Windows Explorer if you're on a PC. And I'm going to go ahead and locate the file. And it's right here for me. And I'm just going to double click it to unzip it. And now you'll see we have all these files. The next step is to take all of these files and put them onto your server. So to do that, we're going to need an FTP client. Now there are numerous uh, FTP softwares out there for both PC and Mac. I myself use FileZilla, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now if you're completely new to this, you can set up FTP information on your web space and you will need to put in the host, username, and password in order to connect to your web server via FTP. It's really easy to do. 
So once you get that information down and connect, you will then be able to go ahead and get access to your web space. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of different folders here on my server already, but we are going to make a new folder for this website. So I'm just going to scroll up like this to the top and then right click and go create directory. And again, I have this on the root path of my web space, meaning I don't have it in any other folders. It's just right on my web space. So I'm simply going to name this folder Joomla Tutorial and then click OK. Now you will see that we have the folder located right here. And if I double click on it, I can go into it. Now I'm going to go to my Finder again or your Windows Explorer, if that's what you're using. And we are going to take these files, all of them that were in that package, and we are going to drag them onto the directory, just like that. And now the files will start uploading. And now this will take some time depending on your connection speed and all that kind of stuff. So I will pause the camera and I will come right back once this is done. Okay, I'm back and all of my files are on my server. Now the final step is to run the Joomla installer that is now on your server. That's what we just put on the server. So if you have a domain name that is pointing towards this folder that you just put on your server, you can just type in the domain name and we can get right to it. If you don't have a domain name, you're probably going to have this folder as kind of like a subdomain. For instance, it might be something like www.yoursite.com slash folder name, if that makes any sense. So once you have that set up, we're going to go ahead and go to a new tab here on my web browser. And I'm going to put in my subdomain, which is joomlatutorial.incrediblettutorials.com. And again, this will be different for you depending on what your domain, subdomain, or what your folder name is and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hit enter and we will load up into the Joomla web installer. So I'm going to go ahead and select English and hit next. And now here we'll have a pre-installation check. And this will basically go through and check all sorts of different stuff about your server. There might be some things here, as you can see, I actually have a couple of things that are like not recommended, for instance, these two on things should be off, but um, it will work on my server. For the most part, if you have something terribly wrong, it'll tell you like, yeah, it's not gonna work because your server is absolutely wrong for this reason and all that kind of stuff. But if most of this is okay, you go to next and then here's like an agreement and you can read through that if you'd like to and you go next. And now here's the important part. Here is where you're going to put in your information for your database that you created before. This is how you link Joomla to that database. So in order to do this, we are going to refer back to the database listing that I showed you before. And as you can see here, we have database name, username, host name, and you have your password that you put in before. And you're going to put that information right into the web installer. So let's just go through it one by one. We want the data type, database type to be MySQL. And for the host name, we're gonna go back to our listing here. And we're simply gonna to go to where it says host name and copy the host name address by using control C, or you can go up to edit copy if you'd like. And then go back to our web, web browser and go to the host name field and then you go control V or edit paste if you'd like to do it that way. So we're gonna go through and do it for all of this. So the username, go back to our listing. The username is this for me. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then paste it right there. The password is obviously the password that you put in before for your database. And the database name is the last one, which is right here. Copy that and paste that. 
And again, this information might appear in a different order if you're using a different web server. Just keep that in mind. So once we have all that, we don't have to mess with any of the advanced settings probably. Unless if you're using, um, you can only mess, you can, should only mess with the advanced settings if you're bringing in backup files from a previous website. That is if you, up, you know, you backed up a website and you're moving your website to a new database and then you can go ahead and use these settings and bring that back in. And I can do that in a different tutorial if there are questions about that. But for now, we're just going to leave it blank. And we're going to go ahead and go to next. And you can set up an FTP configuration if you want. Of course, as you know, FTP is this, what we just got done using. I don't, I normally don't, but that is a preference you can um, enable if you want. And of course, you just put in your basic FTP information, which should be easy if you're used to FTP. And you go to next. And here you just enter some basic information. So I'm going to go ahead and for the site name, I'm going to go ahead and just put that as Joomla tutorial. Now, of course, your site name is going to be different depending on what your site is. And then you put in your email and you go from there. Now, your email is going to be used for in case if you forget your password or if, for instance, you set up a community on your website, which you can do, people can contact you through that email address and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, put that in. And then the password, of course, just something that you will remember. And then you just got to verify it just like you normally would when doing anything else. And down here again, it has to deal with if you're loading in previous data from an older website. And again, we don't have, we don't have to worry about it. So we'll just leave it at install default sample data for now. And just go to next, and click OK. And now, Here's your last part. Joomla is installed. However, you have to remove the installation directory from your FTP files or else you won't be able to access your website. So if we go back to our FTP client really quick here, I'm going to go ahead and locate my installation folder, which is right here in my Joomla folder. And I'm simply going to delete it and you just hit confirm deletion and it will go ahead and delete that folder. Okay, the folder is deleted and now I'm going to go ahead and just make a new tab or a new window on my browser really quick and I'm going to type in my web address that I typed in before to install Joomla and I'm going to hit enter and there you go. You'll see that we now have a basic template for a website up and that's it. Joomla is installed. And stay tuned because I plan to do more Joomla tutorials. Hopefully by the time you're done watching my lessons, you'll be able to create a website from scratch on your own. So with that, I bid you guys farewell and I'll see you guys next time.